guys, welcome to the EU server. Welcome to Iron Fortress, and welcome to the first of our elimination matches here in group numbers in group C. <laughs> first player spawning up in the top right hand corner here is a green Zerg player from my insanity, Penguin. Mm. And his opponent over on the top left-hand side of the map, representing Team Angry Joe Show, it is Crimson. Yeah, it's called Angry Joe Show. Um, I know on YouTube there's a channel from a guy named Angry Joe that does like game reviews and complains about things. He's almost like a total biscuity type person, but he's always like mad or something. But uh, so person. maybe it's a reference to that, but I don't know. He's not European, so I don't know what's up with that. That's just know. a guess. Fair enough, fair enough. Pretty solid guess. But uh, yeah, Penguin opening, or sorry, Crimson even opening with the hatch first, whereas Penguin went, uh, I think, pool gas, maybe gas pool. But uh, yeah, Penguin's going to be kind of being a bit more aggressive with these lings, hopefully. In, uh, kill off a drone or two. The actual difference in Econ isn't too big because although Crimson gets a much faster hatch, Penguin gets a much faster queen. So the production uh, that he gets out of the lava there uh, really helps make up for the uh, slower hatchery. It actually doesn't make that much of a difference in the end. Um, Crimson though is pr producing a lot of links here. I don't know if this is a bit of an overreaction to what Penguin has or whether he's actually planned to be aggressive himself or, uh, or what. Yeah, it is a pretty decent number. I guess 10 of them uh, will be out there. He's got the two queens coming as well. So definitely these four are not really going to get in or do anything. But yeah, it is a lot that he's devoted to this. His uh, speed is slower than his opponent's, which is almost finished. But with the overwhelming numbers, it shouldn't really be a issue. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, Penguin does have the speed now, but uh, Crimson's is very shortly here, and there's no chance that Penguin can kind of dance around and get the main yeah. with those queens there. Uh, Penguin, though, is actually uh, sending some maulings across the map to reinforce. I guess he wants to get a bit aggressive. The Baneling Nest is uh, about three quarters of the way done there for Penguin, so there's a the possibility that he can push in there. I guess he saw the uh, slower speed. Now, ha having seen, seen Crimson's speed finishes, I'm wondering if he wondering if he actually wants to back off or if he's still going to continue with this aggression. Uh, yeah, they might are on to catch completely there, even numbers right now. They're 16 yeah. to 16 uh, for the Lings. Uh, Baneling that's coming down for Crimson now. They'll kind of try and shove those back a little. Yeah, two Banelings are coming in for Penguin, but they're actually coming in at home. It looks like he's not oh, trying yeah. to make any aggressively. But uh, as Crimson actually moves across the map, ah, uh, Penguin was trying to... Uh, dart in there, but unfortunately, uh, Crimson decided to path a different way. Bit unlucky there for uh, my insanity Zerg player, but yeah, it's all kind of stable in a very volatile way. Nothing too much <laughs> is happening, but both the players are trying to make something happen. So uh, yeah, looking for some sort of edge. Uh, Penguin is getting his lair up first. Mm -hmm. He likes his muters in DBZ, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see that. And uh, yeah, actually, the gas times out very nicely for some mute play. So uh, he's going to be saving that up, banking up dem, uh, dem money till he can get the muters out. And uh, Crimson, on the other hand, getting his roach run down. Uh, and Penguin actually sees a few lings moving out and he's going to try and uh, push in here with those lings. But three queens, there's not really any opportunity for him to do it much here. Uh, now Penguin's actually, I think, going to try and take this center watchtower as Crimson moves across the map. Penguin's just going to stay kind of confident in his defense. He's got the two Bane links. He's got that spine crawl there, and the two Bane links are actually going to kind of waddle up there. Uh, yeah, Crimson down. actually is going to try and trade off for one, two links, but oh, one, two uh, workers. But yeah, nothing gets done there. And Penguin actually, I think, manually detonated that Bane link to stop the links being able to get a scout up in the main, which is important because so far, Crimson has actually seen just the two gases down at the natural. Now, he knows Penguin is going to have at least three gases because uh, Penguin will have taken a gas in the main to get the speed up as quickly as he did. So yeah. he might suspect muters anyway. But, uh, yeah, he actually doesn't really know what Penguin's doing. 
But uh, so far from what he's seen, I think Mute is a pretty safe assumption. There's no uh, Evo Chambers or Roach Warren at the natural. Uh, he knows there's at least three gases. So uh, I would have, I would be leaning towards Mutas if I was Crimson, but we'll see. Yeah, and Crimson is uh, getting a good number of Roaches out along with Roach Speed. Um, and of course, it's always odd, but the counter to Mutas can often just be Roaches. Yeah. As yeah. long as you attack first. Yeah, you just attack with them and... Uh, if Crimson does, yeah, Crimson's moving out at basically the perfect time. He's going to get a bit of damage done with these lanes. Penguin's going to have to try and keep uh, Crimson at home as best as poss- as best he can with these lanes because Crimson moving out now, uh, Penguin has a lot of money banked, a lot of money not doing anything. Nine muters, it's there in production, but that money is still not actually helping Penguin fend this off. And Crimson has a ton of banelings morphing in. Uh, these roaches are ready to push in as well. He's almost certainly going to be able to cancel that third base, but he might want to actually try and go for the throat here and uh, get some drones, get some units, uh, maybe even kill off that Spire and uh, get some real solid damage done on Penguin. Yeah, Mutas can target down the Banelings, which is quite important, and they do that immediately. Uh, Roach is pretty good, but there's a lot of DPS on them right now. Yeah, Crimson waited too long there. Relatively quickly. Yeah. I mean, I think Crimson just waited way too long. Uh, the, yeah, that's it. Wow. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's premature. It's certainly very early, GG, but. Yeah, we are here on the Moonlight Madness. Uh, I'm trying to wrap my head around this map as I look around, but uh, <laughs> up here on the top right-hand side of the map. We have representing my insanity. It is Penguin, and his opponent is going to find himself down here in the bottom left-hand corner. The red Zerg player from Angry Joshua Army. It is Crimson. Now uh, he is going to be taking the third base as a natural. Yeah. But so is Penguin. But I actually kind of think they just aren't too Don't familiar know. with yeah. the map. It took me a uh, while. Like I had to look yeah. around here before I realized that this other base, like you said it before the game, there are two destructible rocks that are very far away from that base, but they do completely cut off access to it. Yes, it's a very, very large natural area. It's like way bigger than what we've seen before. But uh, the two lots of sets of destructible rocks do actually completely cut off access to it. So although it looks on the mini-map like you've got this big wide open kind of area here, uh, the two sets of destructible rocks just up the top left here, the ones on screen now and one down kind of to the bottom right just off screen, uh, just up there on the top left, uh, yeah, they do completely cut off access to that natural area. So you can't get in there. It's a free and base natural. So uh, I don't know whether the players are aware of this or whether they've just kind of gone for one that looks like a natural base first because it looks like a natural base. Yeah, it's it's possible, or they do know it, and then because of things like uh, like on Vani Research Station, a lot of Zergs do take the third on purpose. Yeah, and then take their in base natural. So this may be purposeful, or it's whatever. We won't know. Uh, <laughs> but either way, that's what they did. I think. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting map. I think as Protoss, it's it's not even like the ramp at the kind of 30 naturally base is so wide as to be completely uh, unwallable. So I think uh, as Protoss, most players will actually just take that as their first base and then expand to the kind of third base location later as a pocket yeah. base. Uh, and by later, I mean much, much earlier than you would otherwise. Yeah, you could secure that a lot quicker, actually. it's uh, mm-hmm. It opens a lot of possibilities here. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting map. I uh, certainly hope to see it on ladder. I certainly hope to see some interesting games in it. And uh, the first interesting game we're going to see is from these two guys. Penguin, once again, looks like he's going to be heading towards uh, at least a very fast lair, quite possibly from Utahs. Crimson, though, opened up Gasless and is now going to be taking his two gases. Gasless tends towards Roaches, but you can kind of do anything with it. It's pretty versatile. You can go into Mutas or you can go into uh, uh, even Speedlings. Uh, like Gregor kind of Ling Bane play, but we will see. That is all for the future to decide. 
Yeah, it's interesting. I guess it's it's deceptive the size of this map too, because it is kind of twisty and there's rocks everywhere and so on. But the actual rush distance from like third to third is pretty short. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's still fairly short with that, through yeah. that big kind of fairly like wide it, open area in yeah, the middle. Yeah, it's very direct. So yeah, it, you kind of just get right there. Yeah, and then of course the uh, rush distance is towards once you actually start breaking down those destructible rocks to into the uh, natural area. Uh, I find it really difficult referring to it as a natural area because it's still so far away yeah. from the main. And the layout of the map, everything kind of screams, this is the natural where Crimson's getting his lair. So it's just it's, solid. It's, e it's even quite, yeah, the, the other, I don't know, the, uh, yeah. the other base. But um, yeah, once you do break down those structural rocks and open that attack path into the uh, uh, in base, kind of in base natural, um, you get. Uh, you get a lot more pressure. It's about the same kind of distance to threaten both of those bases as it is to get between them. Yeah. Uh, especially when you have to go through two one-wide ramps. Your army is going to be very filtered through as the defending player, whereas the aggressive player can start actually making concaves a bit better, maybe. But, uh, I don't know. Either way, Penguin is going for his music that he loves so much. Spire is just coming up towards the finish now, and uh, he'll be able to put on some aggression. Moonlight Madness, just at a glance, looks like a pretty decent uh, muta map. There's lots and lots of uh, yeah. airspace behind the mineral lines, so the mutas can kite in there very nicely. In fact, the but base that Crimson is now taking as his third is basically the dream for mutalisks. There's no space behind the mineral line to get up spore crawlers or anything. Uh, it's yeah. almost directly straight onto airspace. Uh, quite easy path to get into the third base as well sorry the main base even uh from the main base you can go into that third as well it looks like yeah, the dream map for mutas almost mutas revealing themselves against the overseer mm. here of crimson uh, so he will be aware of that uh, two sport crawlers are coming down in the uh, main and the natural or the third i guess <laughs> <laughs> and then uh with the natural just finished you may try and throw one there as well. Queen's moving down to that position. Yeah, definitely going to try and secure that. Usually with new play, you can, uh, or you want to try and deny your opponent's third base as long as possible, but I don't think he's going to be able to do that. Crimson, as you say, has those four queens there with plenty of transfusers. He can get a burst ball crawl if he wants to, if he needs to move his queen. So there we go. And uh, he'll be pretty much safe. But Penguin wisely. He knows his mutes are being revealed. He's just going to go around hunting overlords and uh, getting as much damage as he can do, which should be a decent amount. He's got, uh, how many mutes? 12 mutes. Uh, we'll see whether he keeps producing them. Crimson is moving out with a little force of roaches. There's a single hide list in this, but uh, that's nowhere near enough to fight it the mutant numbers Penguin has currently. Uh, nice little cancel micro there by Crimson, but it doesn't matter in the end. Uh, the Overseer is Death Penguin. He's going to clean up all this creep. Uh, he could actually start doing some good damage to uh, Crimson's Hydralisk then. And all the tech up here, there's no Spore yeah. Crawler protecting it. So that's a bit remiss of Crimson. But looks like uh, Penguin is going to take advantage of it for now. Yeah, I think you're still very much on the Overlord hunt uh, yeah. here. Uh, which left. would do him, would serve him well. Like Crimson is very close to being supply blocked. As each of those died, um, he did kind of create a supply block, at least temporarily. Nice. Yeah, it just denies the map vision as yeah. well. Right now, Crimson has basically no idea what Penguin is doing. Penguin, uh, I mean, he knows he's still producing mutas just because Penguin's mute flock is getting bigger. But he doesn't know if uh, there's roaches coming behind this, uh, banelings. The bane list actually only just coming down from Penguin, I think, is a little late. Uh, his baneling speed is going to be very, very late. And if he's wanting to play Ling Bane Muta, he has to. He, he really has to get the big, big hits because uh, a big baneling hit in ZVT is quite easy to get. You get plenty in the mole game because it only takes two hits to kill a Marine. But Hydalisks are a little tankier than Marines, although that is still very much a relative term. So I think it takes uh, three hits from mailing to actually take down a hide list. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, the Lings over here on the third base side getting spotted as those units come out and he's just going to oh, come man. in, I think, for a full assault on this third base. 
Crimson is so far out of position right now, and Penguin is completely overrunning. Uh, he's actually, yeah, even delaying Crimson a little bit more. The Rotide is only just now coming in, and uh, Penguin darts out there, having slaughtered Queens. A bunch of links are still going to be killing off uh, more Queens, more Hydalisks. And yeah, a uh, few links even run down into natural base. They should be able to take out this queen before the spike wall takes them out. And they are just, they're killing drones, they're killing uh, the the actual hydralist, and even creating an opening for penguin to come back into the third base and take out some of the gas, take out the extractor, take out a few more of these uh, overlords. Oh man, it's not going well for crimson. Yep, uh, lost quite a bit there. Um... Yeah, Penguin Supply continues to increase. He hasn't taken a fourth yet, but uh, has just kind of turned on full aggression. 26 uh, meters are out there. Yeah, Crimson's getting his uh, infestation pit down. Presumably he's going to fungal growth to try and trap those mutilates in place. If he can get a big fungal growth, then the game will very much swing in his favor very, very quickly. But... Uh, I mean, they're both playing on EU server. Penguin's got very little lag. He should be able to dodge those final growths like a pro. And uh, we actually see him moving towards the map there. Ah, uh, a little bit of incision there. Does allow Crimson some time to get into a slightly better position to deal with these mutants. But it looks like Crimson's actually just moving out across the map a little bit more here. There's two taste lopes, different colored taste lopes, that are kind of <laughs> stuck up on a high ground. Uh, that's a lot of bane links. Yeah, that's a lot of banelings. 25 banelings being morphed in. Not too surprising when you play the Ling Bane Mute. You've got to get, like, huge swells of banelings to smash through the Hydalisks there. But, uh, again, the Fungal Growth really shuts that down. So, yeah, uh, for sure. We'll see. If, uh, Crimson's got to land them. Seven Infestors on the way. Uh, so they're going to pop with seven Fungal Growths. And that is enough to chain all these muters to death, and the banelings as well if they're uh, underneath them. But that is, of course, two big ifs, and they are two ifs that Crimson absolutely has to rely upon to be able to take this game, because right now Penguin is looking in a commanding position. Yeah, and he's keeping all these uh, banelings and lings back on his side of the map. Uh, mm -hmm. Sends a few links for it, pick off one queen, and then retreats. The mute is up at the top. Still have not really tried to come in and poke at uh, much, really. Like uh, other than when they attack the third base for a little bit. Yeah, they're gonna really kill haven't done a lot. Yeah, he will take this out. But yeah, but I, I tried agree. to go after infrastructure or anything, as you mentioned. Like the hydro den was exposed for long periods of time, and and he hasn't I mean, done anything. Yeah, it that. still is. I think Penguin still could yeah. go for it. Uh, yeah, there's a so. handful of hydras here, like four hydras, just. Yeah. Kill them, you'll Kill one shot them. them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, Penguin, I guess, playing a little bit better, kind of safe than sorry. And uh, he doesn't want to get caught in a burrow trap, but yeah. these infestors are starting to move out. They are amassing their energy. Uh, a couple of them will be heading towards two fungus by the time any kind of engagement happens. And Penguin, oh, he's playing with fire here a little bit. He sees the infestors there if he's paying attention. But Crimson actually sees his mutilisks as well. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's no borrow, I don't think. Here comes the bane links. Oh, uh, there. The a nice fungal, though, is going to take a lot of, of them. But, uh... And these mutas are getting on top of everything. There's not too many hydras left over there. Uh, yeah, the infestors all get folks fired down. And Penguin, the bane despite the fungal, is enough to clean up. And GG, Penguin picks a easy 2-0. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to support the ASL by hitting the button now.